Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Fortnite Battle Royale video here on the channel now. As you might have already seen, Metallica released today, which has spanned over all the game modes. So Festival Season 4, we have covered in a previous video earlier today, where we looked at the Battle Stage, brand new, cool game mode. Um, there is also a concert that will be taking place next weekend that I will not be able to cover here on the channel, obviously because of copyright reasons, but... Um, yeah, go check out the Fortnite Metallica Fuel Fire Fury concert experience next weekend. Um, there is also a new track on Rocket Racing and some new quests, which we will look at in a, another video either tomorrow, uh, well, either later tonight or tomorrow. And finally, Fortnite Battle Royale, we have the new Ride the Lightning item and Metallica Loot Island mid match. So if we look at our quests, um, the, there are some new Metallica quests which we are going to go and have a look at now but the main purpose of this video is not actually Metallica so Metallica has some quests as you can see for a spray for a letter there's just some quests and if you complete 20 of them you get an emote you complete the poster so you're making a poster a bit like you did with the mosaic quests where you've got to collect the notes to make the poster the problem is is the notes are a little bit broken at the moment Unfortunately, um, there was a bit of a crashing issue, so they've had to remove the encore session. So if you look on the right hand side, reveal the Metallica image to unlock it. Um, you, collect, you complete the quest to fill in the band name letters and encore sessions to collect the notes, except the notes are currently unavailable because the encore sessions have been disabled. They will be back soon, so don't stress too much. There will be more quests tomorrow for those as well. Uh, for weeklies, we've got three... Uh, week three quests we've got five of them and they're fairly simple repair a vehicle with a repair torch complete a vehicle shadow briefing that one should have been removed because the vehicle shadow briefings did just get removed from the game so that is now restore 200 hp really simple collect 300 bars from eliminated players really nice and simple and then two party assisted destroy 10 nitro barrels with a vehicle not too hard and eliminate 15 wasteland guards or bosses also not too hard but that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is the story quests. We are on to phase two, which is raiding the rig. In our first quest, I'm hearing some interesting wasteland chatter from Hope. Get intel from Bright Raider and Rust. So, without further ado, we're going to go into a game and we're going to go speak to them. So, guys, when we jump out the bus, we actually have Hope and Joan speaking to us. So, here we go. Is there something on the tapes? Yeah. Okay. It's probably yeah, I can... Okay, you don't so sure. That makes sense. I think we need to see right, if they're chatting about stuff, we probably should find out what it is. Um, so, we're going to pin that quest, actually. We're going to head down, we're going to go speak to Bright Raider first, and then we'll head on over to Rust. So folks, I've actually just spotted, we do actually have the Ride the Lightning Mythic here. So this is the Ride the Lightning Mythic. Um, it unlocks one of those locked pieces. And then you unlock stage two. Okay, that's cool. So Ride the Lightning, what does Ride the Lightning do? I guess we'll find out in a second, but let's go and speak to Bright Raider, shall we? Okay, rumour has it Megalodon's started writing down his plans. Okay, very unlike him, he's more of a shout at somebody until it happens kind of leader. There are digitised plans of everything he's working on the terminals at Rig. You should be able to access his files with a keycard, but if you try it, be careful. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's head on over to Rust. But first, to get over there, let's use Ride the Lightning. Whoa. That... That might be the most insane mythic I've ever seen. What on earth have Epic created? And it doesn't even have that long of a cooldown either. What was that, like 30 seconds? Mine, 
Well, no, no, it's it's, tw it's, tw it's 25 seconds from when it got me. There's a tow hook cannon as well, Jesus. I forgot that's in there. We've also now got the combat AR as well. But for now, I'm just heading on over to Rust for that quest. So, folks, here we are at Rust. Let's speak to him and see what he has to say. We've all been wondering what Megalodon's really been up to. I mean, that's true. Found something a Redline Rig that he's been keeping very hush-hush. If you want a glimpse of what he's doing, well, yeah, we do. Stealing a keycard and accessing a terminal is a way to do it. Okay, well, I'm sure we can do that. First, we've got to get our way out of the storm. So, that leads us on to quest two. The keycard's the fastest way past Redline Rig's security system. Collect a security guard from the guards at Redline Rig. Okay, I'm sure we can do that. Well, let's head on over there. So somehow we accidentally did the that part by plowing straight through the guard. That then leads us on to stage three. Log into any terminal and upload everything you find to Hope's secure upload uh, uplink. Okay, we can we can do that, Jones. We're going to upload the three lots of data to Hope from these secure areas. So uh, they're dotted across the rig. The other two are upstairs. Tom, I'm not leaving until I've done these. We've got to find a way to get up higher. How do we get up higher? Ah, oh, there it is. Our third lock is just over the other side. Okie dokie. Good news team! Megalodon has exactly one competent engineer and she is splitting her time between building the pipeline and defending the refinery from people like us. Okay, so Your they're trying to get a hold of... They're trying to get hold of the nitro from the rig. So the rig is drilling nitro and they're trying to pipe it over to Brutal Beachhead. So we've now got two more stages. Tom apparently can't drive. We have we now have got two more stages that, well, two more quests that we're gonna do at once. And those are both involving Megalo Depot and brutal beachhead obviously we, it's going to be a little bit of time before we get these done be able to deal 500 damage to opponents and destroy 20 structures and megalo depot and brutal beachhead um so we're sabotaging here of course we are a little bit of chaos a little bit of destruction a little bit of sabotage a little bit of espionage so without further ado we're going to go get straight to it and we'll be right back in a moment so folks, just really quickly, this is just showing you what Metallica Loot Island looks like. It's pretty damn cool. This is just a little look at it. It is pretty damn cool in all fairness. I'll give credit where credit's due. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But, um, in all fairness, it's pretty cool. Like I say, we'll give credit where credit's due, it is fairly cool. And, um, yeah, Ep Epic have done well with this club, I think. So, we'll see what else is to come in the rest of the season, because we are meant to have the uh, Jack Sparrow club at some point. So that'll be cool when that comes. But until then... Let's uh, go save Tom and continue on. So folks, here we are about to complete that very, very first quest and get some voice lines. Opponents, guards will count. But 
Yeah, you won't pay attention. Nicolo Dolmets are actually really hard to kill. Because of the fists. I'm about to die to the storm anyway. Yeah. Well, I didn't I didn't get to hear any of the storyline. Um but from what I knew Pandora Gym Pandora's box has released gems that people have grabbed. Really interesting. So what we will try and do guys, we're gonna go back to Brutal Beat Hedge Head to steal the Pandora gem. So here we are guys, Brutal Beachhead, and the next stage, or quest 5 I should say, you actually have to go down to where the car is at Brutal Beachhead. First, I want to say I trust you. Great, then we don't need to hear the rest of what you have to say. Hope, I have direct experience with this sort of thing. When I got lost in the zero point, I... I got all the way lost, so just leave it alone. Power like that can't be controlled. Best case, it destroys you. Best case. And worst case, it falls into the wrong hands. Oh, so Hope's getting a little bit obsessional with the Pandora's box at this point. She's becoming her sister. But you really don't want that, Hope. You really, really don't want that. So now all we have to do is make our way over to Sandy Steps to where Hope is waiting for us to deliver her the Pandora gem. So without further ado, let's drive on over, head on up the hill to Hope's building. Be able to hand the gem over and get this quest done nice and easy. So, without further ado, let's give it to you. The gem, thanks. Hey, did this thing give you a massive headache while you were carrying it around? What? Because my head is suddenly pounding. Hope that's not good. That's not good. That's really, really not good. How do I? S well, you have to go to certain places. Well, that was a little look at the phase two storyline quest. So let's head back to lobby and process what's going on. So, folks, here we are back in the lobby, and as you can see. That's it for the storyline for now. Um, phase 3 will release in a week and a half's time, which means they will release on the 25th of June, which does mean I'm not going to be here to cover them the day they release, interestingly. Um, but I will obviously cover them here on the channel as soon as I can. Um, but with that all in mind, guys, that's it for today. I will probably do a video tomorrow on the Metallica quests if they fix the encore session things. So with that all in mind guys, that was a look at your week 3 quests nice and easy and the story phase 2 raiding the rig. But we'll be back in a week, in about 2 weeks time for phase 3 Enter the Nitro Drone. There are 6 phases in total for this season but they are all said and done guys. I hope you found the video informative, enjoyable and fun to watch as always and I'll see you all in the next one.